<laughs> it would keep me livid. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I've got a really crazy story. Um, <laughs> Go for, on. For stealing. Um, so this story is like a story, like this is a part of, the, of a story that's a lot longer than this story. Oh. It starts from a different beginning, but we'll patch it together um, slowly. And then Just maybe I'll... Just keep following us yeah. and then you'll, you'll patch it. Yeah, this is a part time. of this story with this encounter with this person when I was growing up. So someone that was in my life, um, they were they were my friends. Like, um, yeah, they were my friends. And it was like two two friends. And basically, as I mentioned before, my mom sold like the little teacup puppies, like like really, really small. And she had like a separate, like she just loved them. Like, like she loves dogs and she loves taking care of things and stuff like that. And she had like a puppy house, like where they would live so that when they had babies, they would be warm. And like, do you know what I mean? Like mm. they would be comfortable. And um, I brought my friends over to like for Thanksgiving mm -hmm. and my whole family was there. Like, you know, not my whole family, but like immediate family was there. And I brought them with me and my mom was like showing off all the little tiny cute puppies and was like, look, this is this oh, and all of that. That would have been so cute. Yeah. Like, yeah. And then that was in November. And then basically by christmas day or the day either the day before or the day after christmas i can't remember which day it was but it was a holiday and um yeah two of the puppies from my mom's house went like puppy house went missing and they're all microchipped as well like do you know what i mean so it's like these like dogs are like thousands of pounds each like do you know what i mean and two of them had gone missing and people know this in the states like how yeah. much these dogs are worth because they're like really good like lovely dogs were they like little fluffy little Pomeranians tiny like or um chihuahuas or i'm trying to remember the name of them but i think they were like they were the brown and black ones and i can't i honestly can't remember the names of them just, just like now. super cute little yeah, things yeah really tiny like fluffy like oh. really cute um and so like basically my sister melissa since the day they went missing said it was those friends of yours basically said it over and over again and i was like nah like do you know what i mean like they're like my I'd be like, really surely not. good friends like really good like hang out every day kind of good and um what made her do you know like what made her say that? i have no like it's just I, honestly i really put it down to intuition and just like kind of like maybe my sister was really good at like reading people or just kind of like yeah just had that yeah and i mean gut feeling so new year's eve comes and these friends throw a party um at their new like rented house and i go like you know and we're all drinking partying all that stuff and at some point during the party um, it was like pretty late on as well someone had spilled something like on the floor and there was no like nothing to clean it up with it me being the good friend i'm gonna clean it up for you i don't know where they were so i go in the other bathroom which was the ensuite bathroom and i open the door and the two two dogs let's just say two dogs that are identical to the ones that are missing are sitting in the bathtub of this bathroom the ensuite in my two friends house that threw a party <laughs> and invited me to knowing uh, that literally, the I'm like I've got no words stolen dogs were in the house and that they were so clever that I was never going to find it because it was in the other bathroom like yeah okay that. what the hell were so, they even planning on doing like, I was a bit shocked like obviously sell them like literally yeah, just sell them money. like yeah for sure or keep them like do you know what I mean yeah. but like if they're playing like that would be insane like do you know what I mean I imagine um, oh we could just got these dogs coincidentally I, the exact same ones yeah it's just so stupid what a coincidence and then, <laughs> yeah and then literally I again I couldn't really believe it but I was like it's just there's this is these are our dogs so I took a picture of them and I sent the picture to my mom I was like are these our dogs like and she was like yes call me right now so I basically like call her and the party's still going on so I leave like yeah I go home and I like call my one of my other friends and I like tell them about the situation that is about to go down so I go home <laughs> oh, and yeah I no. go and get my mom my mom like how your dad's crazy like my mom is so crazy like in the sense of like you she goes not from mess zero with to them. one thousand like yeah her anger levels are just nuts and again 
Like, yeah, I was just so angry. And basically, my mom grabbed her little microchip, like, reader. Like, you know, girl, girl, <laughs> she, she's got shit. Like, yeah. And, like, by then, everyone I had left. I love that. I'm sorry. Like, she got her microchip reader. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I basically... The house, the front door was still open because I'm guessing people were just leaving because we wanted to wait until everyone had left. Like, yeah. And, oh, wow. Um, That's... Yeah, because I needed to go and get my mom. And again, this was a friend, but we lived out in the like country. So like it took like I had to drive an hour to my mom's house to come back oh, to okay. an hour here. Like, mm -hmm. do you know what I mean? Um, and again, like we so didn't like, want to make, we didn't wanna make a scene. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. So like, yeah. So it was late. I mean, it was only maybe like two in the morning or something yeah so but it's on new year's eve so it's fine like this is all on new year's eve um yeah again they threw a new year's eve party and invited me to it and it's just That's so funny nuts. it's just it's just so funny so we pull up to the house in question <laughs> yeah and um i basically say to my mom i'll handle this i'll go in because i kind of wanted to like my mindset was just wanted to like almost like get them to admit it like do you know what i mean because i just felt like it wasn't going to be easy and so i go in the house and everyone's asleep like they they are asleep and yeah and <laughs> wake I go, up bitch I <laughs> <laughs> oh yes with a knife like. So, like i their door was locked and i basically like because it was an, an ensuite bathroom remember so I knock on the door and I'm like yo yo let me in I actually left my jacket in your bathroom would you mind if I come and get it <laughs> and they're like uh no your jacket's not here and then I was like come on let me in like I know it's there and they're like I don't know maybe I just wanted to fuck with them a little bit oh and my like, god that's yeah, scary yeah and I was like no like you know let me in like kind of thing and they were like no like really your your jacket's not here and I was like said their name and I was like let me in right now I know it's in the bathroom let me in right now or else I'm gonna start breaking down your fucking door oh my like, god that's... I was raging I'm terrified and right I was now. like we're <laughs> calling the police I've got my family outside. I was like, you're caught. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, I know. Like, what the hell? Basically, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And they wouldn't come out. So I like, basically, I was like, I'm not going to shout their door. So I went and told my mom, like, I'm like, they're not coming out, blah, blah, blah. And then my mom hears something and she goes and walks around the side of the house. And then I hear something coming in the house. So like, they didn't try and throw the dogs out the window. Please don't say that. Wait. I come, so the the person like basically comes through and is like, what are you talking about? There's not, go and check my bathroom. There's nothing there. My mom walks from around the house and the, she like has the two dogs in her hands. She was like, they tried to throw them out the back door and they were crying because they were puppies oh. and they threw them out the back door and yeah, and they started crying. So my mom heard them. That's yeah, what she yeah, heard yeah. and walked around and then she grabbed them. And I just like, basically, I wasn't even like looking at the other person and they were just like yapping and yapping being like, it's like, those aren't the same dog. Like, yeah, just basically trying to get out. So why did you throw them out the back door? Ex yeah, exactly. But I waited and then my mom, Mom basically had a microchip reader and boom, boom, <laughs> ching, ching, check out. Lane. I love the microchip <laughs> reader. I love that. Yeah, and yep, it was. <laughs> she was like, "Yep, there are dogs." And I that I think that was the point. I needed like confirmation, and then I fucking blew up. Like again, this person was my very close friend very close and I literally was like in her face like I was shaking with anger and I was just screaming at the top of my lungs at her and like even my mom was like yeah she was like I thought you were gonna hit her like you know like I thought you were gonna like basically just start beating the fuck out of her like I was just so angry and I could not understand but I never like put laid a hand on her like yeah she's lucky <laughs> yeah literally it was like yeah, again, like, yeah, it was just, I was so angry. And, st like, still, then they, like, denied, denied, denied. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, abs like denied everything. And, st like, yeah, basically. What's the point? Just own we, up to yeah, it. You got I caught. Know, like you got caught. That's what I mean. It's, like, even though I was, like, I got caught and I stole stuff before. And I do feel bad about it. But, like, I never, even when I got in trouble, I would be like, yeah, I did it. Like, it's just no point lying. Like, it's just... But yeah, and so 
Obviously, I never spoke to them again. We called the police and basically they we couldn't prove that they actually stole it, which is so shit, even though they, the stolen property was in their house. But their mom d decided to lie for them and say that someone had given them to them. So we try to blame it on someone else. M wrapping up the story in a sense, but basically this story ha doesn't end just there. There's another big chunk of this story and these people who were in my life who had this huge negative impact on my life um and but we'll we'll get to that that's a whole another chapter so like stay tuned but fast forward maybe five or six years later no joke I get a message from one of the one of the people involved in the situation and they are messaging me still denying to this day that they had done it, blamed it completely on the other people. Like, do you know what I mean? Completely. Mm -hmm. And this was like, yeah, basically. And even though it was in their bathroom, this person who messaged me and yeah. And just was like only messaging me in a way to like, because I was like abroad now, like, do you know what, like, you know what I mean? Like, I was like, I would like, I hadn't spoken to them since really then. Um, but yeah. And just, and it they're was, trying to, she, yeah, trying remember, to get in contact with you. I remember reading the message, just like laughing. I'm just like, you actually think that I'm going to speak to you. Deluded, like, yeah. You stole my mom's dog. And not only that, a, some sort of altercation, altercation happened with this person as well and a family member of mine later on. And it's like, you really think that we're going to be friends? <laughs> like, I don't care if you're a good person now. You're definitely not someone I want in my life ever. Like, no. you... Like, like for a period of my, like, I felt so like hurt. Like I couldn't trust like girls and like girlfriends for so long. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah, just because it just was so like hurtful. Like, do you know what I mean? Like it was nuts, but yeah. Man, I can't even imagine that. Sounds yeah. It was like nuts. a whole, yeah, a whole day. And then I had one of my other friends just like witnessing the whole thing. <laughs> just on long for the ride. Like. They, like, knew my mom and stuff like that yeah, and hung yeah, out with yeah. us. Like, a really, like, good friend, like, kind of, not family friend, but just, like, close friend. Um, but it was just nuts. What a story. Yeah. I've, no, I've never had such a big or ordeal. That yeah. sounds, like, that sounds so dramatic. Ooh, and as, what assholes. I know, as well, which should have been a red flag as well. And I didn't connect this until they, they obviously got caught doing this. I had, again... I had lipstick and when I bought things, it was a really big deal because I didn't have much money. I was paying bills and like all these other factors like, yeah. And so when I bought lipstick or something like that, it was a big deal because like I really was like loved it. Like, do you know what I mean? It was like a like impulse, not impulse buy, but like a like spend it on myself. Yeah. And I had this lipstick and I was like bragging to them about like me having this lipstick and I loved it so much and I let them use it because it was like a really nice like pink color and um when I showed it to them that night it went missing and then when I found the dogs and yeah and I basically asked them like yo have you seen it blah blah no 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 blah 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 and I, of course I believe you like if you say no I just thought I lost it I went in the other bathroom or the other person's room when I found the dogs in the bathroom and you found your lipstick. and I found my fucking lipstick in their room and I was like you motherfuckers <laughs> Oh you God. stole my lipstick and my mom's dog, you motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not story. It's just the fact, like, trying to message after, still lying, like, and just not realizing, like, you actually have a problem. What kind of friend is that <gasps> yeah. as well? And if they did yeah. that to you, like, do you think they Who did that to did each other? From? Like, do you think they stole from each other as well? Like, probably, or like, maybe, I don't know. How do you, how was that? Where's the line? Yeah. Yeah. No, I think obviously, you know, stealing from a shop, doing it a couple times, you know, getting caught, getting a slap yeah. on the wrist, fair enough. But stealing from your friends, that's like another fucking level. No, that's, that's ridiculous. So excessive and ridiculous. No, it was like like the betrayal. <laughs> like, yeah, I would never yeah. and then blatantly lying, that's what that's the more disgusting. And lying part. to my face multiple t like in the situation when you got caught, like lying afterwards like I obviously told everyone like I wanted everyone to know what kind of a person they were like they were as like a people's uh, as, a duo. as a people's yeah <laughs> as a people's yeah fucking <laughs> raging like yeah 
fuck them. Yeah, I've never, I never saw them again out. Like I always kind of had a wee bit of anxiety about seeing them out at like parties and stuff. But, um, but yeah, I never saw them out. Like, yeah, because I think I would have like, I was always afraid that I would snap and then I would end up like, like fighting them or something. And I never just wanted to give the satisfaction of like, like giving into those like really impulsive, like, you know, just like, I fucking hate you so much. I'm going to kill you. (laughs) Whereas like, yeah, I did go through a period of my life where I felt like, yeah, just angry all the time. (laughs) No, and justifiably so. It's not, yeah, I was justified it? with that angry time. <laughs> no, I mean, as in you've gone through a lot of shit. Oh, so yeah, it's too. not it's not like you were angry for no reason. But again, we'll get into that in yeah, later so many episodes. Stories, um, so I think we should just wrap it up here. Yeah. Because, yeah. My 